I honestly, you know, was not looking to do this kind of movie right now, but, uh, but you know, there, there was an inquiry, and I said, let me see the script, and I read the script, and I thought, this is really great. And, uh, and then I saw, you know, all the people that were involved, and the Arnold was back, and, and, and the, way, the way they deal with, with Arnold being, you know, however much older he is than, than he was in the first one, and the, and, the, and the new actors that they've brought in, and the script, it was just a, a slam dunk, so I, I jumped on board. When I first read Detective O'Brien, I thought, wait a minute, why did they ask me to play Detective O'Brien? Because he's like a 22-year-old rookie cop. And I realized that that will be another actor playing the young O'Brien, who then, years later, becomes an inspector. This many years later, becomes an inspector with the San Francisco Police Department. And uh, yeah, I thought it was, it was a, a great character because he's sort of the one guy from, from the normal cop world in 2017 who has a clue about what's going on with this whole thing. He doesn't have it figured out, but he, but he kind of knows that there's something going on that's beyond the realm of anything anybody can figure out. And, uh, you know, the character has spent the last 33 years being ridiculed by everybody on the police force because he says, I'm telling you, there were robots and there were these people and they, I don't know what the deal was, but, you know, and he's been doing a little bit of this to try and sort of dull the pain. And, uh, and so there's, there's a lot going on and, uh, and there's a kind of redemption for, uh, for O'Brien that is, that is fun to play. The first thing I look for in a movie is, is character and story, and all of that is here in abundance of great actors. Uh, but it's also a, a huge action movie, and I, I kind of get in on the, on the periphery of that. But, uh, you know, I, I was just gone for a month in between scenes that I've been shooting while they were working on the, some of these gigantic action sequences that of course they'll be adding CGI to and you know buses will be flying through the air and Terminators will be attacking and I mean it, it, it's going to be a, a, an awesome uh, visual experience as well as a, a great great story. First time O'Brien encounters Reese and Sarah he's a, a, a rookie cop in LA you know with his uh, somewhat jaded veteran partner and all of a sudden all this mayhem is happening and there are these guys guys you know that don't drop when they take direct hits and uh, and you know and uh, and uh, Sarah Connor you know saves my life in this in this firefight and um, and that's his first inkling that uh, uh, you know that these that these robots the, uh, that he refers to uh, are something for real. Sarah and Reese uh, show up in 19, or, no, sorry, in 2017 in San Francisco and uh, O'Brien has also moved from LA to San Francisco coincidentally so when he uh, gets word about this mysterious glowing ball and these people and the, the whole thing going on he immediately puts two and two together and then and then when I finally get into the room with them and see that they are the exact same people that I saw 33 years ago and they haven't aged and I kind of have, I, I, I really uh, am, am partly sort of uh, uh, confirmed in, in some of my uh, beliefs and, and partly still completely mystified. It's a gargantuan job and, and you need a guy like Alan who not only is really really smart and, and really understands you know every aspect of filmmaking but it's just a great presence you know a great sort of calm captain of the ship I think this film is going to be a, a perfect combination of, of honoring and even revering the past incarnations of of these characters and, and the universe that they're a part of but bringing a, a, a whole new aspect to it, really uh, keeping the, the, the light-hearted aspects of it, the really, really funny. I mean, all these movies have had really funny moments, and this one is going to be a, a, at least as good as the others in terms of that. And, uh, and, but all the elements, drama and romance and action and, uh, and characters that, uh, that you really care about, which at the end of the day, you know, people are going to walk out of the movie theater talking about how amazing some of the action sequences were. But 
I think even more so about who these characters are and, and, and how, uh, how intriguing the, the story was and, 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 and fun. I know that people are not going to walk out of a theater disappointed on any level with this movie, with you know, uh, the laughs, the characters, the story, the love story, the drama, the tension, the action, which is through the roof, quite literally. Um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be quite a ride.